Good evening, everybody. In District Baseball, it was all La Plata as they beat Bevere tonight. La Plata trailed 1-0 in the second inning. That's when Gunnar McKendry grounds one to short the air, allows two runs to come home, and McKendry kept running. He would end up on third base. Third inning, Justin Wood is textbook. However, the throw is not. That would bring home another run later on. Zach Carr gives a play to a 7-1 lead. They would go on to win the district title game. The final tonight was 8-3. Kirksville's season came to an end as they lost to Boonville 15-9. The Cardinals and the Red Sox are tied at 4 in the 10th inning of play, while the Yankees lead the Royals 11-4 in the 9th. An action from the National Junior College Softball Tournament. Indian Hills leads Southwestern Florida State 2-0 in the third inning, thanks to a Lexi Smith home run. In girls soccer, Kirksville lost the district championship game tonight down in Columbia to Father Tolton. The final was two to nothing. Logan Smith of La Plata won the Class 1 State Golf Tournament yesterday. Smith talks about his final hole. I had 190 yards into 18, and I told Coach we had a win behind us, and it was I hit a nine iron from 190 yards, which that can tell you how pumped up I was. So when I was walking up to the green, I, I had a 10 footer for Eagle on the 18th hole. And I kind of, I just thought about everything and thought about all the experience that I've had and everybody back home and everyone at La Plata and how great it felt to win a state tournament. Hard work does pay off. With 36 holes left to play, the Indian Hills golf team is in third place. Seven shots out of the lead in the National Junior College Tournament in Kansas. Individually, Eric Gilpin shot a 1 under 71, while Ricky Sanders and Julian Sale carded 73. Satumwa heads to the state track meet tomorrow. Brittany Kane will compete in the distance relay. It will be the senior's first trip, and she's looking for gold. I think we're pretty confident. We're second in 4A right now, um, not too far behind first. So our goal is to try to win. Um, but their freshmen really stepped up, and they're really good runners. So we have a lot of confidence in them. Jesse Anderson of Knox County has gone to stay twice in the 800. When the race is close, what's their inspiration to take it up a notch? Well, I listen to my mom because she yells at me, so that makes me run faster because I don't want her mad at me. And then I just know that I can win, so I just push harder. It's noisy at the state meet. However, Anderson can always hear her mom from the stands. I can only hear about three people, and I try to focus on them. She has a really loud voice. Kirksville heads to sectionals Saturday. A top four finish will send several underclassmen to state for the first time. My goal has been to go to state all year, and so I feel like I accomplished a goal. It's just been a big blessing to get this far, so hopefully we can keep going. I probably feel pretty good because as a freshman, that's a pretty, uh, good accomplishment. As a freshman, make it to state. Over at Brashear, Avery Acton is going to state in the javelin. She gets four throws, but she really only needs one. Every track meet I've thrown it at, my first one's always farthest. So, I mean, if I get my farthest throw in, like, I just hope to get it in at first, and then I can see where I'm at there. Zach Short is the new boys basketball coach at Knox County. We will hear from Havoc Jr. Tomorrow night, Teresa is up next with final weather. Stay with us.